300,000 Kentuckians have to re-register for unemployment after the system was shut down to purge hackers. But as WDRB's Lauren Smith explains, only a small fraction of those people have been able to get back into their accounts. Lawrence? The governor set up a special call center to help people having problems getting a new PIN number and resetting their accounts. But the phone lines are jammed and it's almost impossible to get through. And I started calling over and over and over again. I called 96 times. Crystal Adams telling me and WDRB business reporter Chris Otts about her experience trying to get a new PIN number. I called over and over 96 times for 25 minutes before I was able to get into the queue. Adams sharing this screenshot of her repeated calls, getting this message every time. All our agents are currently assisting other customers. Please try your call again later. Thank you. Goodbye. It continually hangs up on you. Adams was finally able to talk to an agent, but even then had to go through a complex process of verification on two different websites. It's very confusing, especially to people who don't know computers all that well. Adams not alone. Governor Andy Bashir confirming Thursday only 30,000 people had gotten their new PIN numbers out of 300,000 people needing them. And to those that are still frustrated, be frustrated with me. Bashir says he's prepared to keep the call center open longer than the 10 days he planned. Where we set for 10 days, but we will go longer if that's what it takes uh, to get people their help. Well, I'm the governor. We're going to go longer if that's what it takes to, to get people their help. 150 people is not enough staffing for 300,000 people that are having issues. Adams feeling sorry for those not as persistent as she was. They're not going to be able to pay their bills because this is so screwed up. The governor says most people should get a new pin and instructions in a letter avoiding the call center. But Adams says she never got that letter. Chris Otts dives deeper into the problem on WDRB.com. Lawrence Smith, WDRB News.